Toastmaster, Perry Ann Saunders. The title of my speech is The Epidemic Before the Pandemic. Do you know that loneliness can be life-threatening? Being lonely is as bad for your health as smoking 16 cigarettes a day, or being morbidly obese, or abusing drugs. Loneliness can hurt you, and loneliness was the epidemic before the pandemic. You might guess that loneliness could lead to anxiety, depression, and unhealthy habits, but it can also impact your physical health. Research shows that being lonely can cause heart disease, dementia, and depress the immune system. Loneliness will decrease your lifespan. A few years ago, The Guardian published an article on loneliness and an interview with a young woman who lived alone in London. From the time she left work on Friday until she returned Monday morning, she had no social contact. She was actually relieved to start work again on Monday, looking forward to it. And a three-day weekend was devastating. It's good to have social interactions at work, but all work and no play is too insular for good health. I could relate to her because when I was in my 20s, I moved to the suburbs out of Washington, D.C. This small town girl thought she was moving into life in the fast lane, but the reality was it was gridlock traffic. Folks commuted to work, then to the grocery store, then home and shut the door. I developed a habit I now realized was related to loneliness. Whenever I didn't have anything planned or a few days off of work, I would go and walk the shopping mall just to be around people. That's a poor substitute for meaningful social life. I eventually developed a social circle through church, neighbors, and coworkers. But after eight months there, I moved back to Williamsburg where I felt a sense of community and connection. Previously living in that small town for just a few years had led to a more divaricate social experience. Having an active social life and strong community are key to longevity. Being social, helps you live longer. A strong social supportive network leads to better cognitive skills, better mental outlook, better physical health, and that all leads to living longer. If you wanna be healthier and live longer, join Toastmasters. This was Winter Park Toastmasters a year ago. Less than a month after the shutdown, we were 40 strong in our Zoom meeting, thanks to the efforts of our great leaders, Kate Adams, Tim Taylor, Carson Shaker, Catherine moisier Belay, just to highlight a few. A year later, we may be a little tired of Zoom and a little tired of these Brady Bunch type pictures, but I'm sure these meetings were a vital lifeline for many at the time providing face-to-face -face interaction in real time, we can still now lessen the impact of the pandemic on social isolation. A recent study in Texas shows the value of phone calls. There was a study with Meals on Wheels where they trained their volunteers to be empathetic listeners. Volunteers called shut-in seniors three to five times a week for a minimum of 10 minutes per phone call. The seniors got to select the time of the call and the agenda of each phone call. After four weeks of regular phone calls, the participants, participants showed significant improvement in symptoms of loneliness. There was even a greater improvement in symptoms of depression and anxiety. The touch of the human voice interaction in real time, confidence of an opportunity to interact with another human. Sounds like our Zoom meetings last year. This study showed that phone calls for just 30 to 50 minutes a week can make a world of difference for people who are socially and physically isolated. I'm sure we all know someone who might benefit from a phone call. Lives are too important 
to ignore the importance of regular communication with loved ones. I've been more mindful of calling my stepmom, my brother, my best friend, and my sons. I've also started to reach out more frequently to those that I suspect may be hurting in I social isolation. In summary, loneliness causes poor health and shorter lifespans. Even though we're starting to open up, remember, loneliness was, loneliness was epidemic before the pandemic. We can recognize the import, importance of phone calls in helping those who are lonely. Emails, texts, and messages may be good, but nothing replaces the touch of the human voice. So live life longer and help others do the same. Social interactions improve your health and length of life. Take the time to call your friend, your cousin, your mother, your son. You may be saving a life as well as enhancing your own. Mr. Toastmaster.